Hi, I'm Professor Caroline Moore, Urology Consultant at UCLH and King Edward VII. And I'm going to tell you about nanonife electroporation for prostate cancer. It's one of the focal therapies, which means that we use it to treat just the cancer and not the whole prostate. That means that not every man with localised prostate cancer is suitable for it. In order to be assessed for nanonife or any of the other focal therapy modalities, you'll need to have an MRI scan and a targeted biopsy along with some other biopsies to assess other parts of the prostate. Once you have the results of that, then you and your urologist can assess whether or not you're suitable for a focal therapy or not. The decision about whether to have a needle-based therapy like nanonife electroporation is largely due to the position of the cancer in the prostate. Nanonife electroporation uses needles and passes a low volume electric current across those needles, taking pairs of needles at a time in order to disrupt the cell membrane. It's not a heating or freezing treatment, but electrical disruption of that cell membrane. Once the cell membrane, the outside the sort of skin of the cell is disrupted, then the cell dies and the cancer tissue that we're aiming to treat dies. It's a focal therapy that we use largely in the anterior gland, and it's suitable for small tumours, usually of Gleason grade 3 plus 4 or 4 plus 3. The procedure for nanonife electroporation is a day surgery procedure under a general anaesthetic. You'll have a catheter for a few days afterwards, and you'll often have an MRI scan to check the result in the first week to 10 days. Follow up is usually with MRI and PSA and biopsies if needed. Most men manage the treatment very well. The risk of urine leakage is low at around 1%, similar to other focal therapies. Some men will need to take tablets to help with the erections after a nano knife treatment. And it's important to discuss that with your urologist before you decide on a treatment. Some men will need to have a nano knife electroporation repeated or another focal therapy. And that's about one in 10 men by three years. Around one in 20 men will need to have a larger treatment, a so-called radical treatment, like radical prostatectomy or radiotherapy. Because nanonife isn't offered in many places, if it is something you are interested in, it's worth asking either your urologist or your GP to, for a referral to one of our centres. It is available on the NHS and we're collecting the data of men who undergo treatment to tell us more about what happens in the longer term. One of the questions, if you're interested in focal therapy, is which focal therapy to have. And that's often a discussion between yourself and the urologist, but certainly in our practice, we use HIFU or high intensity focused ultrasound for all of the posterior tumors. And we use nanonife electroporation or cryotherapy for the anterior tumors. Cryotherapy can have a larger treatment volume. So if I'm choosing or helping someone to decide, I would tend to use cryotherapy for a larger tumor in a larger prostate and nanonife for an anterior tumor, which was smaller or in the anterior horn. The other consideration is that not all of the focal therapies are offered at each center that offers one of them. And that's worth looking at and asking the urologist who's talking to you about focal therapy if they think that you would be more suitable for something even if they don't offer it themselves.